Today, we're gonna to take you through our containerized hydroponic fodder farm and show you how you can grow more than three tons per week of nutritious barley fodder for your animals. First, we soak 130 pounds of barley seed overnight in our hopper and then drain it into a push cart that's attached to a hose output. Soaking overnight cleans the seeds to reduce the presence of contaminants and breaks the seeds dormancy, getting them to sprout. The cart makes it easier to bring the seeds to your grow trays. We have seven trays per tower and six towers in this controlled climate, shipping container based farm. So you're harvesting around 850 pounds of fodder or barley grass every single day. Then you spread the seeds out evenly. It's important to get uniform distribution of the seeds for optimal growing. After about two days, your fodder should look like this. You can see them starting to sprout. Here's the digital screen that allows you to control the conditions inside using specialized hardware and software from Agrotech. You can set the right temperature, humidity, lighting, and watering, and control the circulation fans. This is what your fodder should look like after six to seven days of growth. On day seven, you're ready to harvest the trays and feed it to your farm or zoo animals, or sell it to local farmers and ranchers. Remember, this is soilless growing, but what's really cool is the roots naturally bind together to create a mat that makes it especially easy to harvest. The entire mat of fodder, roots and all, is edible and highly nutritious. It's packed with protein and improves hydration in your animals, and it gives you control over your feed supply. It takes about two and a half to three hours per day to run your hydroponic fodder farm. You might see a few stray seeds or blades of grass, and it's important to keep your fodder farm clean to reduce the likelihood of contaminants such as mold. When all is said and done, you have hundreds of pounds of delicious fodder. And as anyone who prepares a meal can tell you, the best part is seeing the reaction of those who get to eat it.